Hello and welcome back. Today's video will be a review on a game called Arctico, which was developed and published by Claudio Norori and Antonio Vargas. In early development, this was a survival game called Eternal Winter, but the developers changed their game's direction, and in doing so, they removed some of the game's mechanics. Arctico is described as an Arctic base building and exploration game. Your mentor, who is a scientist and inventor named Dr. Garcia, passes away and you're tasked with recovering her work, which is somewhere on Arctico. Before heading into the game, you'll get to create your character. The customization options here are quite limited, but it's not the key aspect of the game. You also get to choose your flag color and you can name each of your dogs. I just went with the default names. Now here you have the cold, desolate island of Arctico. You'll start out in your small dome, which is equipped with a bed, stove, and workstation. While outside of your base, you'll find your sled, which will be pulled by your four sled dogs. In order for your dogs to transport you around the island, you'll need to take proper care of them. This can be done by feeding them from time to time and petting them. Also, when you're sledding, you have to avoid the water because your sled dogs will drown. As for some other activities that take place outside of your base, you'll need to mine for valuable resources, locate letters left by previous explorers, and go fishing to nourish yourself and your dogs. The resources that you gather can be sold or you can use them for experimenting and crafting. As you progress through the game, you'll get to grow plants, upgrade your equipment, and expand your outposts. The visuals of this game is very clean, and the world is vast. As for the soundtrack, rather than having music, the background is filled with tranquil ambient sounds. I had some fun playing Arctico, but about an hour in, I got very bored. The world's way too vast and very empty. I appreciate the large map, but this one isn't filled with much content. On that note, traveling by sled feels very slow, and the slow pace is emphasized by that empty space that you need to travel through. Realistically, the depths of the Arctic doesn't contain much, but it would have been nice to see some snow being blown by the wind or some animals. On the plus side, it seems that the developers provide frequent updates, but in this game's current state, I do not recommend playing it. Arctico has a fun concept and the game starts off strong, but the charm fizzles out way too soon. If you like Zen exploration games, you'll probably enjoy Arctico. I, on the other hand, got bored way too soon. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!